this is this morning three or two <laughs> the two okay this is our second morning up here last night we did not sleep at all skylar was gone we were psyching each other out about <laughs> bears all night we saw, we saw seven mind you we saw seven bears last night a mom and a cub just over here and just scattered all on these mountainsides just a bear in every single basin they're just cruising around like crazy so that definitely didn't help us sleep easy last night knowing that this place is infested with bears so uh it rained about two hours before light it started raining and getting super windy today's supposed to rain all day so we were hoping to get the morning glass and we did it's clear right now but the sky is really dark and nasty looking we'll have a couple sunny patches so hoping it blows over long enough to get a good morning glass so far this morning we're about probably 30 minutes to an hour into our glass and we've seen three bears and four elk and no deer we're beginning to wonder if these bears have pushed the deer out of here and or the hunters have or if the deer have moved because this place is not what it was this summer when we scouted we saw tons of bucks in here this summer and now it's like a ghost town except for bears everywhere skylar on his way out said he saw probably 15 bucks in the fields around town which makes me wonder if the deer started to shift back down to a lower elevation a little bit it's about that time of year to start moving down so we finally got the <laughs> garmin set up with unlimited texting and we've been blowing everybody we know up trying to ease the boredom up out here and so we're gonna keep glassing and and go have a long nap in the daylight without any worry of bears she's texting away this is like a ghetto old-fashioned text you gotta go to each butt are you texting him back yeah really gonna make do with what you do <laughs> This is about one of the 10 bears that we've seen now up on our basins. This is a pretty chocolate bear. I don't know if it's big, but he's super pretty. He's got a nice coat. Love to have a bear tag. We just barely spotted a group of bucks too. A long ways off. I didn't see any shooters. I'm gonna check back on him in just a minute though. Probably gonna have a little nap and then head back up to the glassing point for a midday glass. Pretty good size for two people in here. Three people it was a squeeze, but with just us two it's plenty of room for both of us and a bunch of our gear at the bottom. If we weren't on a slanted hillside, <laughs> it'd be perfect. It would be perfect. I get my pillow. It's too rainy and windy out there to make our lunch. So we're making it under our little rain thing. Hopefully it stays upright. It's kind of like I pegged it in the soft dirt. Your favorite part. Oh, you got scared too. Bit. You janked your hand away. Okay, where's that one? Please don't spill and burn me. Oh, that's hot. Let's get it. 
getting me through the package. Hopefully it doesn't melt the bag. Does it say you pour it in the bag? It doesn't it say. It that, right? It doesn't have instructions. It's fine. There was dirt in the canister. What's a little dirt on the spoon? That smells really good. I'm excited. Okay, this trip is also brought to you by Bitto Honey and Smarties. If you guys are ever planning on going on a high country hunt, visit your local family dollar and then you can pick up a bag of these. One dollar, one dollar. These have literally kept us refueled and refreshed this whole hunt. <laughs> Without these, we probably wouldn't have made it to day three. This bear looks like a tank. Almost looks like a grizzly bear. It kind of has a little hump on its back. <laughs> My gosh, this bear is a giant. Look at the size of his body. Look at him waddle. That's insane. Ted, you have to see how fat this bear is. You can kind of see right there. Yeah, he's definitely one we would love to share. <laughs> so bad. This is another bear I just barely found. Two minutes after I just videoed that last giant chocolate bear. This looks like a smaller color phase bear. Chocolate blondish looking thing. Definitely isn't as big as that last bear, but it's still a nice sized bear, I think. Just right up the mountain from it, probably another 400 yards. This place is absolutely loaded with bears. We are headed up the glassing point. Again. This is our solar charging station. It's a RAV power. So far so good, first time using it. Charging up the Garmin and all of our phones. That's been good. We just glassed up a pretty nice buck. Looks like a straight four point with pretty good forks everywhere, long beams. We're still trying to decide if he's a shooter. He looks like he's probably borderline. I got pretty excited when he came out of those trees, but he looks like he's a nice buck. I want to look at him a little bit longer though and see if he's big enough. It looks like he might be still in the velvet too. He's in a great spot right now, like he's up pretty high, but we haven't seen any bears over there yet, which is always a plus. And he is up a ridge that is right off the trail. So all we'd have to do is head down the trail and go right up one of these hog backs and we'll be right to him. So we definitely could make a play on him. Not tonight, we're out of time tonight, but if we can find him in the morning and bed him down or find out what trees he's in, we're packing up camp and going to head up there, depending on if we decide if we're going to shoot him or not. So my buck had perfect velvet, and now he just decided to rub it, and I can see it hanging off of his beams that fast, and now he's hard horned on one antler, when about 20 minutes ago he was completely covered in velvet. He's just thrashing this bush. We think he's borderline shooter, like 
We were excited to see him because we haven't seen anything for a long time, but he's a really pretty typical. Um, he might just be a size smaller than I was originally thinking. I'm not sure. He's very close to being a shooter though. Oh, we survived another night. Uh, last night wasn't as bad as the night before. I only woke up twice during the night listening for noises outside the tent. So that's good. Now we're going back up to the glassing point to see if we can find that <coughs> buck from last night and get a better look at him and see if he's still up there. And if we see him and we feel like he's a shooter, we're going to go after him. If not, we might head up another trail. We will see. How much water am I allowed today? <laughs> Pretty thirsty. Mm. Haven't seen our rations yet, so. She's been hoarding the water and will only allow us a little bit every single day. I've been on the verge of dehydration for two she days. She has not. She's been mowing down our water supply. That's what she says. This is the mom and the cub we saw two nights ago, closer to camp, one ridge, so we've been seeing these bears pretty much like the same bears every day. We see new ones a lot, but it seems like they like to hang out in the same areas a lot. So today is our last day at camp one. Um, it definitely hasn't panned out the way we were hoping it would. Uh, all the bucks we found this summer are not here or they're not coming out but we have a few things that are not in our favor it's a full moon it's been raining there's people everywhere hunting bears and elk hunting pressure is just stupid but we saw that one good buck last night but i still we aren't sure if he's a shooter didn't see him again this morning and at this point we've been here for three and a half days so we are going to pack up camp right now and go up another trail we actually ran into a guy on the way in here that said he saw two monster families that were this big and this tall. They're this, 33 inches. Yeah, on this trail, so we want to go check it out. I mean, why not? But it's going to be like an eight or nine mile trail. So we are going to pull up our Onyx maps and um, look at the trail systems and kind of make a plan based off of that and pick a spot for camp tonight. So packing up, I'm gonna hit the trail and hopefully be out of here in the next 30 minutes and get going. We have our packs loaded up, and right now we're arguing over whose is the heaviest pack and who's going to pack the last little bit of water. <laughs> we're arguing over who has to pack it. I think my pack's heavier, and she thinks her pack's heavier. It is, for sure. And so whoever has the lightest pack has to pack the extra water, and I know hers is lighter. And I know hers is lighter. Oh, perfect. Like it was meant to be. It's fine. I'm just here to pack. Yeah, pack them on, right? 